morning everyone Bella here I'm so happy to see everyone I'm um, speaking to you from my parents house in San Diego and it's been over a month uh, since I've been able to make a video and it's because I despite wanting to have made a video from everywhere I was traveling to this summer uh, unfortunately I got really really sick and I wasn't able to do that and this video is really a reflection uh, and kind of reaffirmation of what I've always known but this experience really made me realize how powerful the experience of being unwell can be in teaching us what healthy and well really does mean and I have been blessed and I really do mean blessed with a number of experiences that Western medicine didn't have good answers for uh, you know most of the time we have these issues where you go to the doctor, you get that pill and it resolves the issue. It never works for me. And so in the beginning of my life, I would always go into, and sometimes I still do, but go into these horrible phases where I think that there's something really dramatically wrong with me, right? Because like, why is what doctors think should work is not working for me? Or, you know, why do I keep, you know, getting some of the symptoms that I get? And... But because the Western medicine didn't have good answers for me, I have dedicated my life for personal reasons, but then it became really a, a passion for me to understand what are the conditions in the external environment, but most importantly, what, are, what is the mindset and also the habits that we need to have to keep ourselves healthy so that 80 to 90 percent of the time we need to focus on all of those to make ourselves healthy rather than focusing on the disease and what's wrong with us so what we most of the time focus on is like what's wrong with my body right what is the virus what is the bacteria or what is this condition that i need to like cut out take out of my body to be well well the holistic medicine focuses on what is what our body needs to thrive so that it can get rid of whatever is uh, is hindering it because if you think about it like at all times our body is exposed to viruses bacteria we can't protect ourselves from it uh, as much as we want to we can't create shields and you know keep ourselves in this like vacuum to not be exposed to those that's not the idea and actually hurts our body when we're not exposed to uh, a sufficient amount of bacteria right it strengthens our body to be exposed to those up to a certain degree same thing goes even for cancer cells cancer cells the abnormalities are within our body at all times and our body is able to uh, clean it up resolve the issues um, what we need to create for instance for cancers is uh, a non-acidic alkaline environment in our body to get rid of those cells and so while there are many cases uh, where medicine is absolutely essential. We, as human beings, individuals, we need to empower ourselves to know that 80 to 90% of the time, all we need to do is focus on the very simple, healthy living habits, avoiding some of the toxins in the environment, and practicing the right mindset to be healthy, well, and feel that vitality because i've experienced so many of these like states where i am like half sick and i just don't feel like getting out of the bed and the, the days when i feel well are so packed with this passion to live and to produce and create that that's what i equate with being really healthy and well it's not the absence of the symptoms. It's like, I'm feeling so alive right now that I want to do everything. And that's what I want to bring to all of you. Uh, and throughout my experiences, I want to bring you everything that I've learned, right? Everything I've learned and everything that I've acquired um, in a condensed form so you don't have to go through all of that and I see people going through this all the time like experiencing some chronic issues going to doctors not finding the right answers and then going to another doctor and then finally like going on this journey of discovering their own um, ways but the, the way is really simple there are really three important uh, factors what we eat uh, the movement that we do or don't do 
and the stress levels we experience or not, right? The emotional well-being, stress, and so those are the three main things we need to keep ourselves healthy. And they constitute kind of the foundation, but also our mindset is actually even more important. It's like when you're able to shift from what do I do to avoid disease to what do I practice to be in this state of full vitality where I feel excited about life, when you focus on that, that pulls you out of any disease and into the life that you desire. And it's not just about health anymore, but it's also about fulfilling your mission and really like living your most beautiful relationships. It's, it's this state that we want to strive for. That state I've called and I've, you know, I've coined this phrase pleasurable wellness. It, you could call it uh, bliss, you could call it nirvana, you can call it uh, you know, joy, whatever it is, like health, but it's, 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 it really doesn't matter. It's the state that we experience and actually chemically our body is flooded with feel good hormones, right? Um, to propel us into having a healing state for our body to get rid of anything. It doesn't belong there, but also to attract and create the reality that, that we desire. So starting next week i am going to prepare and launch by the end of august a live course with all of you who wants to really transform your life to go through my system which is really a, a compilation of two things it's a lifestyle model with nine squares of this wellness puzzle right we would follow how to nourish our body properly how to feel and connect with our body properly and how to move our body. So that includes exercise, nutrition, from a completely different perspective and in a completely different way, but also includes breathing, includes meditation, includes sexuality, things that we often don't talk about that are extremely important and part of this puzzle that, you know, when you put the pieces of the puzzle together, that's when you unleash your vitality. So we would go through all of those things, but at the foundation of it, we would also learn the sensualness method, which is really how to navigate through all of that from the place of inner knowing, from the place of being awake and sensing your body. It's kind of like mindfulness, but it is absolutely not connected to the mind. It's connected to our body wisdom, connected to that ancestral way that are that we navigated through life by knowing like what not to eat what to, not to touch what to go for like our body knows which colors it needs to fulfill the nutritional deficiencies that we have we just have unlearned how to do that and that's what we're going to learn together with all the different you know latest research both from western medicine as well as the traditional and more have forgotten approaches like from Taoism, from Chinese medicine, from uh, all these different Asian disciplines, um, African wisdoms that I've studied that I'm bringing together to give you some of the best tools that can help you transform your health and well-being, which is really the foundation of everything else. So if you don't have that health and well-being, you can really build anything on top of it but if you're feeling well and both mentally and physically then everything else aligns for you to build your tower which is your life right so if you're taking care of this body properly then nothing will stop you that vitality will propel you into the life that you desire that's what this semester is going to be about to for us together to build a foundation for the life that you desire by learning some things, but also by reawakening that inner knowing that we all have deep within us.